Have you ever imagined what it would be like to ride a chariot of fire into the heavens? This is not a scene from a fantasy novel, but a vivid account from the annals of the Bible. Among the many tales within its sacred pages, the story of Elijah's ascension stands as a beacon of divine intervention and human transcendence. Elijah, a prophet of paramount significance, was not just a man but a symbol of unwavering faith and relentless courage. His life was a testament to the power of belief, and his ascension, a spectacle of divine glory. The tale of his fiery ascent into the heavens aboard a flaming chariot remains one of the most captivating narratives in biblical lore. So why does Elijah's story hold such resonance? What makes his fiery ascent so significant? These questions beckon a closer look into the life and legacy of this extraordinary prophet. Stay with us as we unravel the mesmerizing tale of Elijah's fiery ascent. To truly understand the spectacle of Elijah's ascension, we must first know who Elijah was. Elijah, a name meaning, my God is Yahweh, was a prophet who emerged during a time of rampant idolatry in the northern kingdom of Israel. His life was a testament to unwavering faith and courage in the face of adversity. He was not a man of half measures, but one who was all in for God, a beacon of light in a period of spiritual darkness. Right from his debut on the biblical stage, Elijah was marked as a man of God. He boldly declared to King Ahab that there would be neither dew nor rain except at his word, a bold proclamation that showcased his deep trust in God. Then he retreated to the wilderness where God provided for him. This was just a prelude to the many miracles that would mark Elijah's life. Elijah's faith in God was not just in words but was demonstrated time and again through his actions. One such instance was his encounter with the prophets of Baal on Mount Carmel. In an epic showdown, Elijah challenged 450 prophets of Baal to call upon their god to light a sacrifice. When they failed, Elijah called upon God who answered with fire from heaven. This miraculous event turned the hearts of the people back to God. Elijah's life was not just about spectacular miracles, it was also about his intimate relationship with God. He was a man who heard God not in the earthquake, wind, or fire, but in a gentle whisper. His life was a constant dialogue with God, making him one of the most significant prophets in the Bible. But Elijah was not immune to despair. He had his moments of weakness, times when he felt alone and afraid. Yet, in these moments, God was always there to comfort and strengthen him, reminding us that even the greatest of prophets are human, susceptible to fear and doubt. Elijah was not just a prophet, he was a man of extraordinary faith. Now that we know about Elijah, let's delve into the day of his spectacular ascension. It was an ordinary day just like any other in the life of the prophet Elijah. He was with his protege Elisha and they were journeying from Gilgal. As they walked, they engaged in deep conversation, perhaps about life, faith, or the mysteries of the divine. However, Elijah was aware that this was no ordinary day. He knew that his time on earth was nearing its end. He attempted to convince Elisha to stay behind, but the devoted apprentice insisted on accompanying his master. As they pressed on, they reached the Jordan River. Here, Elijah rolled up his cloak and struck the water with it. In a miraculous display, the river parted, and they walked across on dry ground. It was here, in this moment of quiet before the grand spectacle, that Elijah turned to Elisha and asked what he could do for him before he was taken away. Elisha requested a double portion of Elijah's spirit, a testament to his profound respect and admiration for his master. Elijah responded that this request would be fulfilled if Elisha saw him being taken away. Suddenly, their serene environment was shattered as a chariot of fire pulled by horses of the same fiery nature appeared. It swooped down between the two men, separating them. This was not a chariot of destruction but a divine vehicle, a celestial carriage. At the same time, a whirlwind arose adding to the drama of the moment. It was within this whirlwind that Elijah was taken up, carried away in the fiery chariot. Elisha watched in awe as his master was lifted towards the heavens, disappearing from his sight but never from his heart. What a sight it must have been. A man ascending to heaven on a chariot of fire. Elijah's ascension was not the end of his story but the beginning of his legacy. His departure from this earthly realm had a profound impact, not just on his protege Elisha but also on the people of Israel. The mantle of prophethood fell to Elisha, who had been Elijah's faithful companion and apprentice. In the wake of Elijah's departure, Elisha was left with daunting shoes to fill, but he was not alone. He had been granted a double portion of Elijah's spirit, 
a divine endowment that empowered him to continue the work his master had begun, Elisha went on to perform miraculous deeds of his own, driving home the message that the divine spirit that had been with Elijah was still very much at work. The people of Israel too felt the ripples of Elijah's ascension, the fiery chariot that had whisked him away, served as a tangible reminder of the divine power that stood with those who remained faithful. Elijah's story became a beacon of hope, a tale of God's unwavering support for his people, even in the face of adversity. Fast forward to the present day and Elijah's legacy continues to inspire. His life, his works, and ultimately his ascension serve as a testament to the power of faith. They remind us that those who stand with the divine are never alone, that they are backed by a power far greater than any earthly force. Biblical enthusiasts draw strength from Elijah's story. They see in him an example of unwavering faith, of devotion that transcends earthly concerns. His ascension is seen as a promise of what awaits those who remain steadfast in their faith. In the end, Elijah's story is more than just the tale of a man who was taken to heaven in a chariot of fire. It is a legacy of faith, a narrative that has spanned centuries and continues to inspire people across the globe. Elijah's ascension was a testament to his faith and a beacon of hope for those left behind. Elijah's ascension is not just a fascinating tale, but a story with deep significance. This extraordinary event, described in the biblical Book of Kings, holds a wealth of theological and symbolic importance that reverberates across different Christian traditions. Firstly, Elijah's ascension is a testament to the power of faith. Despite the challenges he faced, Elijah remained unyieldingly loyal to God. His ascension serves as a divine reward for his steadfastness, demonstrating that unwavering faith can lead to exaltation. Secondly, the story symbolizes hope. The fiery chariot that carries Elijah to heaven is a vivid depiction of God's power and his ability to transcend the natural order. This element of the narrative instills in believers the assurance that God's power can overcome any earthly obstacle, offering hope amidst adversity. Moreover, the ascension of Elijah is interpreted as a foreshadowing of Jesus' resurrection and ascension in the New Testament. Just as Elijah was taken up to heaven without experiencing death, Jesus too ascended to heaven, confirming the promise of eternal life. This parallel draws attention to the continuity of God's plan for humanity, from the Old Testament prophets to the New Testament Messiah. In Eastern Orthodox tradition, Elijah's ascension is celebrated on the feast day of the Holy Transfiguration, highlighting his role as a precursor to Christ's transfiguration. Meanwhile, in the Roman Catholic tradition, his ascension is seen as a testament to the reality of heaven and the promise of life after death. Lastly, Elijah's ascension emphasizes the concept of divine intervention. It demonstrates that God actively participates in human history, intervening in extraordinary ways to fulfill his divine purpose. Thus, the story of Elijah's ascension is not just an exciting biblical narrative, it is a rich tapestry of theological lessons, a beacon of hope, a testament to faith, and a symbol of divine intervention and promise of eternal life. It is a narrative that continues to inspire and guide countless believers around the world. Elijah's ascension is a story of faith, hope, and the promise of eternal life. So what can we learn from Elijah's fiery journey to heaven? Well, the tale of Elijah's ascension is a fascinating one, filled with lessons of faith, courage, and devotion. It's a story that reminds us of the profound power of belief and the extraordinary possibilities it can manifest. Elijah was not just a prophet, he was a man who demonstrated unwavering faith in the face of adversity. His ascension into heaven on a chariot of fire is a testament to his spiritual strength and dedication. This story is a mirror, reflecting our own potential for faith and perseverance. It invites us to delve deeper into our spiritual journey and encourages us to remain steadfast in our beliefs, no matter the challenges we face. As we ponder on Elijah's ascension, remember that his story is a testament to the power of faith and the promise of eternal life.